What's up guys, coming at you guys with yet another video here to talk about uh, Freddy Roach and uh, this is going to be sort of a two part video or not a two part video but uh, two I'm going to talk about two different topics in this video both having to do with uh, Hall of Fame trainer uh, Freddy Roach and uh, just the first one I'm going to just keep it uh, simple as you guys know that uh, Kodo Kirkland uh, they're doing their uh, tours right now and uh, one of the reporters said, uh, what was Kodo's thoughts and uh, Freddy's thoughts on Margarito uh, coming back? And, you know, there, were, there was some controversy controversy with uh, Margarito. He's uh, one of my favorite fighters. Um, as of right now, he hasn't been looking too spectacular. Um, I don't think he has the skill right now uh, due to his age. To be in there with like top opposition like Canelo, he wants Canelo, but he came back and he fought uh, Jorge Pais Jr. and Canelo's brother, um, won both of them, but he didn't really look like elite like he used to, and you guys know that whole uh, hand wrap situation, uh, with the Shane Mosley where he got caught pretty much with plaster and he pretty much denies it, uh, blames it on his coach and. You know, ever since that, people have um, been uh, going back to, like, his past fights and uh, questioning if he uh, was clean this whole time or how long ha that has been going on. So, pretty much, uh, Freddie Roach has been saying that uh, Miguel Cotto, or not Miguel Cotto, uh, Antonio Margarito should be in jail for attempted attempted murder. And, you know... If he, in my opinion, he even though he's one of my favorite fighters, um, the old Margarito, I think, you know, Freddie Roach um, has some, like, you know, I, I usually don't agree with Roach that often, but, you know, if, if Margarito did do that, then, yeah, I think he, they shouldn't have even given him his boxing license, because you can't play boxing, you know, um, if you're especially if you're using plaster that's like you know you could probably kill someone because he did fuck up uh miguel Cotto in the first fight and uh you know he lost the second fight and his eye you know you know some people say it's karma because of his eye but you know who's to know really but uh the second topic i want to get to is freddie roach saying that if uh manny pacquiao is going to continue to fight he has to get in there with terrence bud crawford and uh, pretty much I agree with that because that's some bullshit ass fight that he has going on with uh, Jeff Horn. And you know now they're saying that uh, Crawford never uh, demanded 7 million. Bob Arum confirmed that. And you know pretty much Roach is saying that they have to fight him. And even before that Roach was saying that that would be a difficult fight for Manny. Um, I don't know man I think it's a good fight I mean. I, personally, I still think Manny could win that fight. It's gonna be a difficult fight, but I think Manny still pulls it off. But his team has been demanding like twenty million, which is like outrageous. I don't know how they're gonna get that from the Terence Bud Crawford fight. I don't really think that Bud. He's a great fighter, but I don't think he has exposure, um, or that superstar superstar level, um, like Manny Pacquiao does. But even then, Manny Pacquiao's numbers have been um uh, going low. The only uh, real good number as of late it was a Mayweather fight, but of course everyone watched that shit. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts on that is. Uh, definitely, we need to see, we need to see that fight, Manny Pacquiao versus Terence Bud Crawford. Hopefully, that fight um, is made sometime in the near future. But at the same time, we don't even know if uh, Manny Pacquiao has been is even going to be fighting. He criticized Floyd for fighting weak his supposedly a weak opposition, but Andre Berto, you know, he did his thing, but no one's gonna be Mayweather. And now freaking Pacquiao's doing the same shit. Uh some people didn't even want to see the Vargas fight. They were saying he was a cherry. He fought Bradley three times, he fought Marquez four times. And you know, he's fighting Horn, which the fans don't want to see that shit. Your loyal fans, not even your, I don't even think your loyal fans want to see that fight. But let me know down in the comment section what your guys' thoughts on that. Peace.